Okay, everyone, welcome to a tier list. Yes, a tier list that I was working on last night, but I got distracted, so. Um, just um, uh, because I was uh, amazed by uh, a woman, and yeah, I mean. <laughs> Or like, or like, uh, or today's morning. I don't fucking remember anymore. It's just like I literally had a nap. I, at one point I had a nap, but yeah, my back is like literally is a little sore right now. I mean, I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't check off too much. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, <laughs> I I just love um. I don't know, um, man, I like to see more of, uh, I like to see some, uh, hot tub stuff. <laughs> Fuck, what's next? I'm gonna be watching hot tub porn. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh yeah, I'm drinking Kickstarter, by the way. Kickstarter is, like, the, the fucking go-to, go-to, uh, is my go-to. I used to drink Rockstars a lot. If you, if you really, if I do remember correctly, I used to do that. Do you, I mean, do you really want me to do a energy drink tier list? Because I could do that too. That's another idea in mind. Uh, yeah. Shit. Shit. Um, shit. 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 You know what, that's slightly better, but, yeah. Um, and dog shit. <laughs> All these are shit, okay? Diet and Zero are not always the best. This one's a g Okay, Diamond 2's fine. It's just, it's alright. It's just, it's a slight buff of it, of it. But, fuck. I just, I'm not a huge fan of diet uh, stuff as much, um, considering that it's not actually good for you. Yeah, it's not good for you. Um, and Sprite Zero, fuck. Actually, no, Sprite Zero is a little bit better, because, well, it's Sprite, obviously. Excuse me. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. Now, we're gonna save some shit stuff from the best for last, but I think we're gonna go with Dr. Pepper. I have had Dr. Pepper so many times. Although, I think Dr. Pepper once had cocaine in it. I'm not sure. So did Coca-Cola. Both of them had cocaine in them. But, is Dr. Pepper worth drinking? Yes, it is. It's worth drinking. It's not the GOAT, obviously. Uh, Pepsi is... Um, Pepsi is, like, definitely worth drinking. But, actually, I am going to put it at decent. Um, Coke. Yeah, I like Coke a lot, okay? It's not because it's called Coke. It's just for the drink reasons, and I think, personally, I've had it so much now that it's, like, my personal drink. And it's also... I mean... I mean, it'd be nice to just have a drink like that. Um... You know, and then we got Jones. Jones is alright. Um, Jones is like a decent drink as well. I mean, when I was younger, I used to drink a lot of these. A lot of them. Dude, it was so hard to fucking open them, too. Fucking just... I mean, it's not... It's not hard. It's Okay. It's like... It's hard to open something, but it's also really hard to put something inside something. Even though it's like tight in there, and it feels... It's like... Well, I don't know what it's like, but I but I assume it, it'd be tight in, in there, and, you know. I wonder how fucking good it would be to have it, have something in, in that tight spot or hole. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta come up with some jokes. I mean, that's A&W. Mug and Aiden W, oh boy. This is like a the battle between the, the root beers. 
Okay, root beers. Like A and W has a like a nice tad to it, um, but like Mug has something about it. Like Mug has been, uh, I've had Mug so many times too, compared to A and W. But A and W is like probably like a, I say a worthy drink. Mug is like, I'm gonna say decent. Like it's all right to drink. Okay, um. Club soda, club soda is like, I mean, a lot of people drink club soda, right? I'm gonna say it's all right. I think it's just it's not my favorite drink per se, but I think it. Sprite, Sprite's kind of like um, Sprite is like literally a decent drink. I just realized I'm missing a drink in here. Shit. I forgot about Mountain Dew. I forgot about my Mountain Dew. God damn it. If Mountain Dew was on this list, I think it would go in S tier, but it's not here. God damn it. Why do I always miss things so easily and not notice? That's, that's so bad. Fresh Cuz S tier, uh, goat. Because it's the best drink ever. It's the best zero sugar drink ever. I've had it. It's good. It's good for you. It, it, it actually, I, I, I think it's better than any other, any of these, I think. I've also had this one, which is actually not bad. Zero calories, but it's also, I'll say it's like, okay, I'll say like decent or all right. But like, it, I didn't mind drinking them at one time. Um, obviously, 7-Up's going in S tier as well. 7-Up is just something. I like it. I like 7-Up actually. Summon up pretty good too. Um, uh, Canadian Dry. Um, I'm gonna put in all right. My mom loves that stuff, but I, I, I drank it. I've drank it, but I'm like, eh, it's all right. Not the best, man. Although it's good for your stomach, though. So I'll do Seven Up or Sprite. Good for your stomach. Don't want to get sick. Uh, I got Crush Orange. I like Crush Orange. Worth drinking. Um, and then this one I would say probably like... I'd say decent. Uh, or right. I mean, all right probably makes sense. I've also tried this once and it was called... Uh, it's a pe Pepsi Mango. Pepsi Mango, like, it seems, sounds like a really good flavor. So I've had it. Like, once. Um, and I'm going to put it in, like, either decent or... All right. If I were to go back to my my last video, I actually I should just go look at my video. I think to because I I know I drank it. Um. Uh, if I remember correctly, like honestly, I'm just going for my videos. I'm just going for my videos. Okay, um, I'll be right back when we get find it. Okay, so I just like went for some videos of mine uh, just to see how I uh, of reaction. I I did talk about these two, and I put I did say mango. I say mango is probably in the goat. It's a good pe Pepsi flavor, although I prefer it over the original. And Pepsi Blue, I said it was a five out of ten because it wasn't that great. <laughs> Which means it's probably either it's not it's definitely indecent. It's like leaning towards all right, but actually no, I'll put Pepsi up here. And worthy drinking. It's a worthy drink, but it's just not. Verners, uh, Verners, Verners. Okay, Verners is like something else. Like, dude, it's like it's like these guys, but it's like um, I want to put them like decent. Uh, Brisk is going to end goat because I remember one of the times I had Brisk was on a ferry. I was actually on a a, a ship. Uh, to actually, I'll I'll show you guys uh, the ship because it's interesting. I, I may talk about a story about this one day because I was like ten years old, so uh, this was like many like thirteen years ago. But yeah, I'll show you um, when we get to that. So this was the the ferry that I was on to Prince, or not to Prince Island, to Peely Island. Now, obviously, I'm being on Peely Island and. I mean, it, I mean, this was like the boat where I remember this boat. I remember being in it. I remember drinking brisk on the boat. On the boat, 
I have fond memories of Peely Island. I do. And I still remember it to this day. It's literally interesting. I think we have like a, a tw we have like some sort of like mini model of the ship in my house somewhere, but yeah. I mean, get back to the tier list here. So, um, and then we got the pop store. I would say like it's uh, an alright drink. Um, then we got Coke. I wish I recorded some things when I would talk about uh, Coca Cola. I think cherries. An all right drink. It's an all right drink. It's not like too terrible, but. And then you got Dr. Pepper Dark Berry, which is the Dark Jurassic Park version. Or Jurassic World nomination. I had this drink. I actually like this drink, to be honest. It's what started. This is the drink where it got me back into caffeine again, because I had a period where. I just wasn't drinking caffeine. I just wasn't feeling like it anymore um, for a time. And honestly, it's definitely like, I say it's a worthy drink. I think I like it, to be honest. Like, even normal Dr. Pepper is great, but I think this one's great too. Uh, Fanta, Fanta is like an S tier. Even though it was, um, well. I mean, you guys know the story. I mean, originally it was a German, you know, drink, of course, and it was created during World War II. Yeah, not good times, not good times. Although, yeah, we talk about Fanta so much. like. Yeah, not good. Not good. That's the original original drink there. Wow. Um uh, we, we next we got sh, sh, I can't even pronounce that. Sh, sh web, weppers? Weppers? I don't fucking I, I hate the fucking name of this. It's all right, but it's not like my favorite drink. Uh Dr. Pepper Cherry was something um it's like I'll say decent, or I mean, I had it once at a one time. I do like vanilla uh, Coca Cola, vanilla. I really like that one because I actually did drink it. I should have done a video on it, but I didn't do that. We have Throwback Pepsi. Throwback Pepsi is like fucking. I'd say like I'll say it's up here. I actually like the um the way that they did this Throwback thing with Pepsi. I love it, and I would like to see Coke do it too. But there's a twist. What if Coke decided to bring back their original, but have cocaine in it? Imagine imagine that, like, if they did that today, Jesus Christ. People would be on cocaine, and so would Dr. Pepper. But, well, unfortunately, people don't want that, so not everybody wants cocaine. Crystal Pepsi is iconic and deserves to be in the GOAT tier as well. Because it belongs in there for a reason. It is the superior drink... And actually, it's one of the drinks I've had a couple times. Um, I think it does come out every once in a while. Uh, it probably comes out during the summer, though. But I mean, I mean, same with Pepsi Blue when I had it like the first time because I, I remember that drink. I know I do know that the drink was discontinued. And last but not least, why the fuck is this here? Well. There's a story behind this. You see this guy right here? He actually was is the reason why Crystal Pepsi was brought back. And I'm talking about LA Beast. And I never forget him drinking this original Crystal Pepsi and puking so fucking much. Now, I suggest not buying a 1990s Crystal Pepsi or you're fucking dead to your stomach. Like literally your stomach will be fucked. You'll be puking so much that you, over a drink that expired like 30 plus years ago. So my, so one of my advice for you is to not buy this drink off of eBay, off of fucking, you know, Kijiji or whatever the fuck websites that have this fucking item. Do not buy it or you're fucked. Unless you do want to keep it as a collector's item. Just don't drink it. Or you'll end up in a hot, you'll end up in a 
hospital room. Or end up in the hospital, is what I mean. So, it's definitely not worth drinking. Now, I could have put others on the list, too, that are that you shouldn't be drinking. Unless you really want to fucking do this as a challenge. Then, yeah. That just, that's the, I... You know, would I do something stupid just so I could see a uh, woman naked? Probably. <laughs> I mean, if I did a challenge, would I do it? Probably. I mean, not to mention, I mean, I mean, it's not just that, but, but what if I did something and then it was worth the reward and the risk? So, yeah, I mean, I love that, okay? But this, I, I don't know if I would ever do that. And I'd be like, R.E.P. my stomach and my fucking bladder. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys for more content.